Saint Michael the Archangel to Lustre Maria de Vanilla on the 21st of November 2020. People of God, as Prince of the Heavenly Legions, I bless you, people of God. The history of the salvation of humanity has been permeated by divine mercy at all times, but human beings have disobeyed the divine will, a fact that has brought humanity to face the consequences of the misuse of its own free will. Even so, man has not taken the lessons of the past seriously and continues to refuse to obey God and to convert. Totally blind, humanity denies its creator, is turning away from the good and has created a future in keeping with its great pride at this present moment. Ah, ah, people of God! Where are the rivers of disobedience taking you? It is essential for those who continue to have spiritual sight to remain alert to all that is happening contrary to the divine will. The current antichrists forming part of the world elite are deciding the destiny of humanity and have handed it to the devil, hence such a great awakening of evil at this time. This generation has been entrusted with special love to the Holy Spirit, so that humankind might decide to receive the gifts and virtues of the Holy Spirit that are necessary for this time. Listen. You must convert and grow spiritually, being totally convinced that the Most Holy Trinity deserve the honor, the power and the glory forever and ever, Rev 5.13. The people of God must bend their knees before the name that is above all names, so that at the name of Jesus every knee in heaven, on earth and under the earth might bow, and every tongue confess that Christ Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father, Phil 2 colon 10-11. Each person should work for their personal salvation with fear and trembling in the midst of this world of darkness and commit to sharing spiritual blessings with their neighbor in order that they too might save their soul. Persecution is in front of you, gradually increasing to the point where you are now encountering it face to face. Those who trust in the Lord should not be afraid. Those of a generous, humble spirit, of firm and true faith should not be afraid because the days will be shortened so that our King and Lord Jesus Christ might find them faithful at His coming. 1. People of God, be firm in the faith in the face of global unification, which is not the divine will, but rather the will of the world elite to dominate you, bind you, and to diminish human faculties through misused technology. Human beings whose faculties have atrophied are unable to decide for themselves and need to depend on those who order them as to how to work and act. Humanity has accepted the coming of modern innovations, putting up sculptures representing the devil as a sign of evil's power over the human being. I therefore urge you to invoke our Queen and Mother with a prayer Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin at all times during the day, being in a state of grace. Otherwise, the devil will scoff at whoever pronounces it without any merit. Under the pretext of the present disease, the human body will be altered, and this is not the divine will. The antichrists of the world are sending another disease so that men would surrender themselves into their hands and willingly allow themselves to be sealed with the seal of evil. Humanity, without being certain that it is being manipulated, senses it, it is the Holy Spirit in each person that gives the discernment to be able to intuit what it is that you are facing. For this you need to pray in a state of grace, otherwise you will fall into the clutches of the one who is coming, the Antichrist, served by the current Antichrists. People of God, do not fear, but trust and increase your faith and perseverance, your assurance that God protects his own and that the faithful will gain the prize of eternal life. Do not decline in the faith, stay fearlessly within the marching column, but with the strength of the Holy Spirit, with the protection of our and your Queen and Mother who does not abandon you. Our Queen is in command of the celestial armies to direct you and work miracles when necessary, sustaining God's people. The commemoration of the birth of our King and Lord Jesus Christ will not be as usual. Humankind's spiritual hunger, together with global upheaval, and the shaking of the earth, will stir humanity to awaken. The signs and signals will increase and make it clear to you that the warning is approaching and that humans must acknowledge that they are sinners, repent and convert. 
Children, I see people who are disturbed by so much discouragement everywhere. I see people renouncing good and extolling evil, giving it the strength to continue mercilessly devastating humanity, not only through the economic power held by the elite, but with the power that has been yielded to Freemasonry within God's people. Human beings are watching the advance towards total domination, with great indifference. Open your eyes and survey what is happening throughout the world. The microchip is not a fantasy. I am not speaking to you as I used to speak in the past, I am speaking to a generation that has made great discoveries but has not managed to discover whom they are serving when they militate against God's law. In the past, armies went out to conquer lands and kingdoms, at this time disease has been sent as an emissary to defeat the spirit of human beings and to conquer them, sealing them for the Antichrist. God is mercy, love, kindness, charity, forgiveness, devotion, hope, he is omnipresent and omniscient, yes, he is all-powerful. And man. Man struggles for supremacy, he struggles for power, and in his determination to dominate the entire world, he attacks the gift of life, hurtling towards man's extermination by man. Wake up, people of God. Wake up, people of God. Our King and Lord Jesus Christ covers you with his precious blood. The Immaculate Heart will triumph. Queen and Mother of the End Times, give us the protection of your Sacred Heart. I bless you. Hail Mary Most Pure, Conceived Without Sin Hail Mary Most Pure, Conceived Without Sin Hail Mary Most Pure, Conceived Without Sin. Commentary by Lusto Maria Brothers and sisters, our beloved Saint Michael the Archangel urges us not to tire of doing good and at the same time not to tire of looking with spiritual eyes at everything happening around us. This is a message alerting us to what is one step away for humanity. We always receive that word which strengthens us and gives us the assurance to walk towards conversion. We know that economic power has affected humanity, it has been imposed throughout human history, but we also know that throughout salvation history heaven has continued to guide its people. Given the current escalation, we are on the way to greater events that had already been announced but not unveiled, and at this moment we see that the curtain is rapidly being drawn back and we find ourselves looking at the scenario of global power that increasingly has no qualms about showing itself. We know who is behind it all. That is why Saint Michael calls us insistently to convert, to save our souls, to be witnesses to the great love of God for his people, with assurance, faith, strength, and without faltering. Amen.